Hello, this is Yo Sensei. Here is a quick video for you to get up and running with Rhino rendering. The purpose of this video is to put very basic materials and quickly produce rendered contents. There are many deeper things around renderings, which is covered in the following videos. Just focus on modeling for now and quickly render your objects. Let's get started. So, first thing uh, that you will see is that uh, this is a shaded view. So, you can change uh, the shaded view into render view, uh, which is going to be the actual simulation of the, uh, of the space. So, right now, uh, this object doesn't have any kind of uh, materials. Uh, so, the first way is to we are going to start uh, applying materials. So first of all, if your toolbar on the right side is organized like this, uh, it's always a good idea to uh, extract the layer panel out the work area. So you can drag this to here. So you can have a double stack of uh, property panels and layer panels. So that's uh, quite nice. And um, so the material libraries are located in this folder uh, type of thing here. So then you can get into uh, render contents and then there are all kinds of architectural ceramics, default contents, uh, da, 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 da. So uh, first I am going to select plastic and then uh, I am going to select, uh, you know, nice uh, plastic that is, you know, this kind of green plastic. And then I am going to drag and drop to my object. So uh, you have to drag and drop multiple times uh, for the each one. Um, but you will uh, get to the point where um, you have all the materials added. So that's one way of uh, applying materials. So simple material here. You can go into the uh, materials tab and then you can find uh, this sea green uh, opaque plastic which we have just you know used to uh, apply. So here you can change uh, the color of it uh, in different ways so you know and then you will have other controls like you know reflectivity, uh, transparency, clarity, bump map and things like that. So uh, that's first uh, how you uh, apply one, the one way of uh, applying material. So let's try uh, on this table and then uh, we will go into the render contents and then uh, we will find wood, uh, oak, and then let's find uh, one of the materials and then try to drag and drop it. So it will drag and drop and apply this kind of way and um, it's not really great. Um, you know, the grains are going into different directions and things like that. But this week, just, you know, uh, we will go over that next week. So uh, just focus on, you know, applying materials uh, in the simplest way. And uh, there is a way to do mat uh, texture mapping, but uh, I think it's a little bit too much to learn uh, just for this week. So uh, just, you know, do something like this. So now uh, I am going to apply some kind of uh, stone or uh, beautiful, um, you know, organic material. Uh, it's under architectural and uh, wall, concrete masonry, uh, stone. And then let's see if we can find like nice marble or, you know, uh, beautiful stone granite. Yeah, something like that, um, you know, beautiful granite type of material. And then I can apply that for the base also. So I would like to apply a, um, you know, beautiful, um, you know, metal, uh, reflective metal uh, on this bar. So uh, you have to select everything and then uh, control click or uh, for my right uh, Mac, it's a, um, Command click and select all. And then you can just group them. Group this object by Control G or uh, type in group. 
And then uh, I am going to go back to render contents and the metal uh, polished, uh, polished chrome, and then apply this. So now uh, it has this kind of like beautiful uh, reflective material. That's nice. Um, and then uh, here I am going to apply some kind of like cool. Um, Reflective paint. Mm. You know, something like that. Nice. And then at the top should be glass. So I can just click on uh, glass and uh, dark blue glass. Uh, I apply. So, yeah, it's quite nice. So, um, this is a very uh, simple way to uh, find renderings. But uh, to make it realistic, you can right click on the perspective tab and then you can go into ray traced. And uh, this one, this is a GPU based uh, real life uh, calculation of, uh, of the light. And um, so if, it's, if you have a really uh, computer with strong uh, graphic capabilities, uh, you can capture these renderings in a uh, pretty uh, quick way. Uh, if, they, if it takes really long time, just go back to uh, this uh, rendered view, which I think is good enough for uh, what we do for this week. So let's see how we capture these, okay? Um, I am going to actually add one more material um, to my um, floor. Uh, so floor, actually there is a uh, object. So uh, but it's locked, so I am going to just add like darker uh, plastic or something. Uh, I think I need to uh, unlock. Unlock. So there is this object, and uh, I'm going to, you know, apply uh, this kind of reflective uh, material, and then uh, I can go into this material, and then I would like to decrease the reflectivity a little bit so you know it's okay like that so now you can capture this so uh this way uh i am going to kind of like show it in a way that is really beautiful oh before going into that i would like to uh tell you you could also instead of applying uh, materials to objects uh you can also uh apply a material into layers okay so i am going to show you how to do that uh plastic uh you know uh things and blasted and then apply drag and drop to chairs layer okay so that's what that's how you can uh, apply the whole uh, object into a layer and whatever is in the layer is going to be uh reflecting that uh color so now I am going to go into this pink one and then I'm just going to change the color to something that is actually nice. You know, I'll, I'll make it like really dark. It's kind of cool. So now uh, we can just go ahead and uh, render it. So to render it, you can find a nice view. Okay. So now uh, you can do uh, view capture to file is the command. So this is, uh, you know, uh, perspective view and then you don't want to show grid world access and all of these and then you can just uh, click on viewport and then you know log aspect ratio and then make make it a little bit bigger okay and then you just click ok and uh, that is going to um, produce a quick render in Rhino and uh, I hope this is going to be helpful